Hello? Evacuation procedures. In the event of a fire alarm, fire drill, or other emergency signal, I continue sounding the bell. Please exit to the doors on our right. And um, assemble the meeting point is in the car park. That's just for the people who are in the town hall, not in your own home. Um, right, and the first item on the agenda is to elect the chair of finance. Any nominations? There's one proposal for Ben Randall. Any other nomination? Yeah, I'll go for Franklin, but Franklin would seem to be here. I did speak to him earlier, and um, he, he wanted to. Uh, he wanted to abstain from uh, uh, being the chair, um, and he was going to second. Uh, ben, but he, he can't because he's not here at the moment. I'll second Ben. I'll second Ben. Hello. I'll second Ben. I'm <laughs> Right, so uh, we can have a, a vote on that. Now we have a proposal in second there. Those in favour, vote to put their hands up. One, two, three, four. Five. 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 He's not in finance. Five. 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 So the chair has been elected as Ben Randalls for the Finance Committee of the Federal State and Council and we pass over now to Ben. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Can you just take on see whether we need to move that? Can everyone hear me down the other end of the internet? Can you hear Ben? Can you hear me? Right, yeah. Elaine. Elaine, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'll talk louder. 
I've got tick I've got I've got um tick this up, tick this away for so it's quite hard sometimes. Tickness. Yeah. That's it, tickness. Is it good? So the second item on the agenda is submissions from the public. We don't have any members of the public with us. I don't believe there's anybody on the call who is a member of the public. So we will just go straight on to item three, which is proceed apologies to absence. Uh, yes, apologies to the member Franklin. Yeah. You might, you might join them. Yeah. Item 4 then is declaration by members of the Labour Government Act 1972. Do we have any? Mm -hmm. Can't see you on the screen with any problems with that one. So, announcement by the Chair. I'd just like to thank you for electing me or appointing the Chair of the Finance Committee for this final year. Um, I think obviously it can be a very interesting year considering the fallout of the coronavirus and financial attacks. If, or what impact that may give us. Um, so it will be challenging here, obviously very interesting to deal with that and uh, hope people will do our best to mitigate any potential fallout from that. Item six is to agree in terms of reference of the committee group. Does anybody anybody propose in terms of reference? Well, Lane is proposing that and then seconded by John. All those in favour? Yeah, that's unanimous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Item 7 is to confirm the minutes of the meeting held on the 19th of February 2020 as the left record. Is there any proposal for the minutes? John, proposing the minutes. Second bit by Falk there? Yeah. yeah. All those in favour? All in favour? Against? Abstention? One, two, three, four, five. Are we thank you very much? Item <laughs> So, would anybody like to propose a job block adoption of the policies? Tony, okay. seconded by a name. Yeah. All those in favour? That looks like it's unanimous. Thank you, everybody. Item 
2010 is still the following financial matters, and 10.1 is 2019 20 year end figures, and audited and adjusted for 2020 2021 forward five year budget plan. Want to take the Yeah, let me hear it. Um, the pre audit 1920 year end figures have now been completed by myself and um, Rachel Pullen. I've had quite an end up in Rachel, obviously. The income and expenditure of budget summaries and apps and parasols for a surplus of £186,750 at each time to However, as Rachel was indicating in the summary below, some changes have been made going forward to expand the plan on the 2021 budget. Thank you, Father. I'd like to paint the picture in your hands. Mm. Yeah. The activity centre sites income, along with those borrowing to 6 and 408, have been reduced by 40% for 2021 in the hope that things might stand up over, but these budgets can always be revisited later if they have slightly reduced or 21 22 compared to the previous budgets. The tax base has been reduced by 10% for 21 22 and then 5% thereafter for the remainder of the plan. The current year of tax base has been set to 4 and 3, and therefore the budget remains unchanged. The annual preset of the increase for over five years has been held at 0.5% uh, per annum as agreed by council. Uh, for the forward plan, which allows you to move points in the following years. It should be noted that the decision of the for the budget got nearly related to the forward plan at a set time. A deficit of 82.7 banks is currently produced at the end of the year by the year plan, but this is massively reduced for the previous agreed forward plan, and it is likely we will have additional surplus funds to those estimated over the term. And if not, council do have the option to reset. Although I would also hope tax base for the new piece of the term and out the following ones we've applied. Linked to item four above, the 250,000 contingent reserve has been protected but can be used if required over the short term to fund any shortfalls due to the unprecedented financial situation. A plan would, however, have to be made to restore these funds over a set period. This is an emergency option of April's Council, however, it does not appear to be required at this stage. Budgets for 2021 have been removed and changes are shown in the schedule in pink, and the reasons behind the change are also shown on the separate schedule. However, the bigger changes are detailed below. The unallocated youth budget on nominal post 3079 has been reduced from 82,860 at the 2019 year end to 40,000 in order to fund the Beacon Boyhood Club Baby Squad, okay, I'm not saying that, which is needed over the next one to two years. It should be noted that 32 was allocated at the end as unspent food budgets were protected to the reserve in my strategic plan in September 19. The funds were directed toward play area, all areas of the normal code 3016, which had been increased from 109 to 160 for 2021 to allow about 75,000 to spend on the. Where was it again? Play called Charles Nice. Play area. And then this reader is replenished over the remainder of four years. It should also be borne in mind that this, this reserve is required to cover all the areas and therefore should all be, be sustained to the actual reserve. The payroll budget, uh, by their success, to have been reduced in view of Vanessa's departure, all these, although this ideally needs to be accurately calculated, but we can revisit budgets later in the financial year of losers. No change has been made for Richard's requirement, and as I assume, will probably be replaced at some point on the rough and running again. The professional budget of 506 has been increased to 20k to fund Terry, hoping until the end of the year to support uh, Richard's return to work. The community festival budgets have been reduced substantially for 2021 with 26.2 to 87.2 based on the figures provided by the management company. 
The property grades with budgets, for one, for one, and eight, for one, have to be reduced to deal with the fact that sites have been closed and unused for seven months, and this may well continue for a while yet. The figures also consider the historic levels, and depending upon the expenditure of the current financial year, council may be able to consider the pension upgrades in February, March 21, when the expenditure levels and future precepts will be known. The five-year forward plan and the 2021 budget schedule are both attached to the end of the report. Do you want to say something? Yeah, um, Sharon, have you uh, had any response from South Gloss regarding um, applying for sort of income from them because of the shortfall? that we will be receiving for the properties due to the COVID. We're well, not excited to it. We have applied. Even though we have electric phones, we've applied. We applied and then we got told, no, you can't have it. No. Really? Yeah. But you go back and say, well, um... You know, because that's happened all across the country, as we can count it. Yeah, we have, we've done, we've done, we've been quite for everything that we've been invited to. But then they say, well, I don't understand is that they say that the pixels are helping. Um, they can't be helping if we're losing money because of them because of uh, COVID. Yeah. Surely we should be getting some money from the South Lost Council to help out. But at the moment, our precinct hasn't been altered and we got the funding for it. For what we've budgeted. So that has the income hasn't altered at the moment. It, I mean, yes, we might not get as much in rent, but we're still getting the, the majority of the income, and we, we have tried everything. I know that now, and the most government association have lobbied government to see whether, because there's a lot of, there are some parishes, well, some town councils, there is one I know of particularly who don't set the precepts because they get all their income from holiday lets and activities to be on the coast, so they have been completely stuck on the cost and it's cut down. So we're actually, because of our five year plan, we're actually in a, you know, a relatively stable position that we can monitor over the year. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it then. Yes, more than definitely. Yes, can I just um, pick up the point in um, paragraph 4, in this, which talks about uh, the possibility of having to examine the precept in year 5. Um, I'm a believer in, although one hopes for the best, one does prepare for the worst. And if things did go badly, I think it would be very bad to have an over-large precept increase in year 5. And I would suggest we make a, perhaps a mental back note to look at it in year four with a view to perhaps going to get over two years while we do it in one. We had the worst thing well out. We actually look at it every year. Yeah. So if you look at, at things like last year, the deficit for the fifth year was was like hundred and fifty thousand. So we do we do look at it every year for the next five years to to ensure that we don't do a huge so my point is covered. Yes, yes. Anybody else have any further questions? I don't want to I don't no, can you um, you should um, propose an exception? Um, I don't mind that. Okay. Yeah, when you're talking about what Mark was saying about looking at there could be a shortfall um, in year five, wouldn't it be sensible to raise an, uh, the preset by probably 0.5? Yeah, we, well, we, we look at that, don't we, every, every year, and obviously, as this year goes on, we'll be able to see what implications there are going forward. So, yes, that conversation definitely had 
from numerous times over the next few years, I think. Yeah, so, I think, I mean, we need to probably keep an eye on it and yeah, bring it into yeah. discussion a lot yeah. more in, say, probably six months' time. To yeah, when we, when we set the budget next year, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Okay, thanks. One of the key factors that Rachel wanted to solve when we go through this is the setting of of the tax base and finding out how big that is for each financial year going forward and then we end up with multiple drafts towards December and January this was a good life and then that's been that reset for citizens. Because which is why Rachel has reduced it in number two on there in line with what John raised last night yeah. thinking about the fact that the tax base is likely to drop because yeah. of a lot of people who suddenly lost their job, so that's why Rachel has reduced it going forward. We might be pleasantly surprised when we get yes. the information in January, really, it might actually be higher than that, yes. which would then have a lot on effect to the end of the fifth year. So, yeah, we can do So, do you want us to approve all these individual points? No, we can all just go as a proposed extra year end citizen. Well, we're going to do it. John's proposed the year end citizen on the points there. Okay, good. Please do it. Yeah. All those in favour? No, that's the rule. Enough. And I know you said thanks, Terry. Um, yeah. I mean, Rachel has put in. Yeah, you have to say that. Yeah. I said, compiled. I just put compiled on it. Yeah. Rachel said it's been actually very good for her to get back into it. But at least Rachel does come back. She knows that budget is going to be there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there was a space and the was here my room is going to be gone. And the, I hope the business goes to Paris. The sun was in Paris. Oh, Thanks very much. We will also be inviting the news for the next week, the the week, the 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 What's I do? I love the line five. Right, I've got some. I'll bring you some up tomorrow. Marvellous. Thank you very much. Sharon, just, a, Sharon, just a quick one on Book Way Food Park. Uh, we oh, okay. the information to start on the Shark Council. So hopefully we could get a feedback very soon. Oh, marvellous. That's brilliant. Thank you for that. Thank you. And I'll let um, Stephen know so you pass it off. That's great. Uh, Thank you very much. You're welcome.